All right, so I did not manage to finish off the little smidge of DLC stuff in Xenoblade Chronicles 3 before going on my trip to Italy. So now, I'm in Italy, is the thing. So I was like, well, if I couldn't finish it before my trip, how about I do the rest during my trip, I guess, or something like that. So here I am in Sorrento, Italy. Um, I only have a couple days here left, so there's going to be today, tomorrow, and then I'm going uh, going back the next day. So, you know, I'm not going to be doing this for too, too long because I actually want to spend some time out and about. But I also figure it's a cool novelty thing to have as part of the Xenoblade Chronicles 3 series. Some stuff that's going on in freaking Italy here. I've been doing some game-related stuff here recently. I decided to do a playthrough of Assassin's Creed Chronicles India since that's the next game that we had coming up in the Assassin's Creed series. The camera's gonna switch to like this, by the way, between like focusing on me and the background and just silhouetting me sometimes. Um, oh, this is my freaking easy mode save file. Gosh darn it. Wait, I don't need to back out to there. I can just back out to the title screen. That's what I can do. Whoops, I am a little bit silly. I'm a little bit silly there. Yeah, sometimes you uh, sometimes you just wanna go through the uh, game on a different difficulty setting and see what it's like um, while traveling around and stuff, I guess. So let's see here. If I go ahead and actually load game and load for my actual 152 hour save file here. Yeah, we had audio issues last time. And then I went on my trip. And now we're here and hopefully won't have audio issues. And now I can try out the challenge mode, I guess. I haven't touched like my main file since uh, since before. But anyway, um, the Assassin's Creed Chronicles games are like really short games. So I was like, you know what? Let's do a full playthrough of... Uh... Do I not have to fight them? defeat highlight enemies well let me attack them then let me do that let's go ahead and just auto battle it this is what we'll do so i was like hey those are short short games that can be beaten in like two to three sittings the ac chronicles games so i've been doing that um there's only 10 levels in it i'm through the first eight so sometime today or tomorrow i'll finish off like the last two and then hey i have a full playthrough done of a short game it was the mvp also you know, I'm not going to be as loud here. It's worth noting as I... Oh, that's really not a whole lot, is it? Huh. It's also worth noting that I'm not going to be as loud here as uh, as I would be at home in my office. You might notice this is very echoey, for one. And uh, this is an apartment building complex. It's starting to get warm now that I open those curtains and the sunlight's coming in. It's starting to get quite decently warm. So, you know, I'm going to be using a lot more inside voice. This is my laptop right now. Um... But yeah, so I've done a smidge of Assassin's Creed Chronicles India, which I'm doing like a full playthrough of. I'll do a smidge of this. Um, I wound up doing some Octopath Traveler Champions of the Continent, a short little smidge of that. And I found out that Switch games aren't region locked, so I've been playing some uh, Mario Plus Rabbids, my uh, my Italian copy of the game. So that's neat there. So I've been having fun with that. So I picked up that, and speaking about Assassin's Creed, I also picked up the uh, Ezio collection while I was here, because an Italian copy of the games of the Italian Assassin, like, I can't, I can't not do that, you know, <laughs> I was thinking about getting that game anyway, after it was announced, being like, oh, that's your games on my Switch, that'd be cool, so, <laughs> and I'm playing this on my laptop right now, my, you know, the outlets are different here, so I have, like, an adapter converter in the outlet over here, that leads to my laptop to power it, and there's an outlet over there that has an adapter converter that leads into my Switch. My capture card is on, like, the floor in the corner over there. And I have a super long USB extension cable. A fancy-schmancy USB 3.0 extension cable, because the Legato capture cards won't work unless it's USB 3.0. Going all the way across the floor leading into my laptop. So, I've got a little bit of a weird setup. And it's worth noting that what you're seeing is what I'm seeing, is the thing. Because I'm just playing this off of OBS. So, you see me in the top right corner, the screen that I'm playing off of has me in the top right corner. So if I need to see my map, I gotta do this. And I don't have, like, my layouts, is the thing. Wasn't I... Oh yeah, I was gonna do, like, some side quest thing, wasn't I? I think. I mean, what is this? Going full HD? Okay, yeah, we were gonna do this, and then I'll figure out the challenge mode stuff after. So, yeah, I don't have, like, my normal layouts. I just kind of slapped this together while I was doing stuff here of just, like, Oh yeah, just put up the game and then slap myself in the top right corner. But it doesn't really work as well for Xenoblade 3 when, uh, you know, I've got a mini-map to look at. So, 
So that might actually pose a little bit of an issue, and maybe I should move it down. Maybe. Maybe, maybe, mayhap. What's happening here? Friend Sunny! Friend Cheerio! Meh meh? It's Eno Eno. Ah, where? If, <laughs> if there's someone going by to, like, their room in this uh, apartment building, like, and hear me doing voices like this and being like, what the heck is going on in there? I swear. Is this what it's like to be a new content creator that has to use, like, their inside voice that doesn't have, like, <laughs> dedicated, secluded space like I have at home? It feels so weird. Sunny, please, just punch that Eno Eno Grace Caravan with presents so soon. We just get in fresh new shipment of yummables and nummables. Only too happy to share. Any tankings? I'll we'll have to ask Master Pond for shopping bonanza later. I mean, we have the funds. We have the technology. But actually, you know, come today to discuss separate issue with friend Sunny. Oh, what might be? Is there perhaps technician in caravan of friend Sunny that know how to improve HD Ether Cylinder Plus? Oh, two ears of Sunny Deceive. You know, you know, mention that fabled apex of Nuppon technological achieve. HG Ether Cylinder Plus, you also might notice that it's a lot more echoey in here than uh, at home. <laughs> so, you know, there's uh, there's that. So forgive the audio quality not exactly being what it is normally, but uh, the novelty of doing this in Italy is cool anyway, you know. Fabled, he calls it. <laughs> yes, now Sunny understand assignment. Then please, can make use of service helper of Sunny, named Totoma. He admittedly a bit of strange and loot, lacking in gab and friendly patter, but nevertheless skilled caravan mechanic. Friend to Totoma, memorized. Thanks for referral, friend Sunny. And also, while we flapping chops here, please to accept this, you know, you know. Sunny's sampler set, okay. Sunny just happened to have necessary materials to hand, so more than happy to fob off on. Such generous, is his friend sure? Everyone in Caravan World know how Eno Eno run around hither tither fighting to guard Nuppon future and present. It's the highest honor for any Nuppon to be able to render assistance. Ah, friend Sunny. You know, feeling such excessive happy might break into dance at any moment. Chance of dance? Sunny must join Eno Eno and Frolic. Dear me, then Cheerio also cut a cut rug. <laughs> TJ Pond players too. What? It's the box and embers. Um, you know, do you think we could maybe shelve the celebrations until we're finished with the cylinder business? Yes, Master Pond makes sense. You know, almost forgot in self movement. Self in movement. Hasn't even been a minute. Master Pond, we hurry now. <laughs> Friend must get to Toma to look at Cylinder. <laughs> I see some relations okay. have changed. Yeah. Let's see here. To improve Cylinder, please use services to Toma. It may be a bit of strange and loot like and Gavin Friendly. Yeah. So we've seen that. And then Cheerio. Cheerio and others will be here for a while, so please come and visit anytime. And when visit, please buy many products in bulk. Nothing makes Cheerio happier. Hi. How's it going? Hi, um, could we have a minute? We were wondering if you could help us. Isn't this about improvement to HG Ether Cylinder Plus? That's right, exactly so. Would friend undertake? Give me a... Okay, so we're handing okay. over... So yeah, there's the sampler set. Okay. It all done. HG Ether Cylinder Plus successfully powered up. Alright. I'm glad that all worked out. Thanks much, Master Pawn. But matter is far from finish. You know, must collect much more high ether for purpose of restore to self to full power. For sake of bring peace and happiness to Nupon everywhere, or something else as we found out uh, last time. Yeah, I know that. If we happen across any more ether spheres, we'll be sure to collect the high ether for sure. And if we can get all the materials together, we can have the cylinders improved here again. Indeed, Doodle, you know, will be most grateful. Is she Ether Cylinder Plus improved? You can now gather more Ether. Oh yeah, it's also worth noting. Quest complete. Neat. It's also worth noting that by the time that this gets published over on YouTube, like, with how ahead of the game I was with the upload situation of <laughs> Xenoblade Chronicles 3, this is gonna be uploaded, like, late January, I think, 2023. 
It is currently the 21st of October 2022 at the time of uh, at the time of recording this, which, you know, really goes to show how ahead of the game <laughs> I was in terms of this series doing a whole lot of sessions getting through to the uh, getting through to the end of that. I feel like I was taking my time with it, at least compared to like my friendos that were getting through it like much much faster, you know. That's the thing, 140 parts to beat the main part of the uh, the main part of the game is crazy, man. Go to Toma HD to send it up to us. Okay, so we're handing over. So, so version 3.0, um, 25%. Okay, so I have a lot of things. I mean, so I guess I'll like, boop it bop, and then sure. There we go. Yeah, the camera's just gonna switch like this from time to time to Toma improved. HE is still in our plus reach version 3.0. So what could the increased versions now do? You can now gather more high ether. So is that just increase my capacity or is that just increase like how much I gain per spot? Because it seemed like I was gaining like very little per spot before. So maybe that buffs that up. There's still my HE ether still in our plus. Okay. I mean. Well, there's that. Boop a bop. And then we can just do like, sure, I don't know. Don't mind, boot. HD Ether Cellular Plus reached version 4.0. Okay. Now, so, Castrate's Ether Furnace. All right, it's getting to a, it's getting to the more expensive part kind of area, it seems like. Huh, bunch of Levinous parts. I guess this is a good use for them though, right? All right, there we go. Cool, will I be able to upgrade past this? So it's a total improve. Is she Ether Cylinder Plus Reach version 5.0? Design now perfect, can I improve more? Oh, okay, cool, I maxed it out. Neat. Is she Ether Cylinder Plus now reach perfection? Good luck with collecting a high ether. All right, so that's good to have maxed that out. I have no idea what my progress on the affinity there is, just that it's three stars because my camera's blocking it. So Momo is servant of Mistress Poncherio. Please meet friends. We're like caravan to sell food stuff from near and far and every spot between. So much choice. Oh, I was just interacting with you to see if you had one of the uh I see some relations have the changed. stones for that one quest, but probably not, because I guess this is just like a DLC camp thing, Bob. So now we can probably either try out challenge mode or try out Eno's Ascension quest, maybe? I don't know where you know his ascension quest would be. So where's the where's the quest for the thing we're about? Challenge battles. It's gotta be this one. Investigate the mysterious light that has appeared on the banks of little news whatever the heck. Okay. Let's try that, I guess. So yeah, investigate the light. So okay, and it shows a little challenge battle symbol that I was hovering on for a hot second, but now it's just showing the uh, side quest marker. So, are the challenge battles in this going to be more like Xenoblade 1 or Xenoblade Definitive Edition? Because I felt that like they were really lacking in Xenoblade Definitive Edition, in my opinion. There was only like 10 challenge battles, and that was it, if I recall. 